Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you a little bit how the telemetry view works in, in my telemetry tool. This is based on the version 10 which was just released and uh, I'm going to dive in into the new features and stuff that's inside there. So this is the way how it looks even you haven't driven yet. You have a fastest lap as you can see the blue lines. These are the traces from the fastest lap. So there's the braking trace, a throttle trace, also the speed trace steering trace and then the gears and nothing else at this point so with this this is the new view as you can see there's some new things there's a scale on the right hand side and you can turn off the scale or turn on the scale per each trace it might be that for throttle it's not interesting because it's 0 100 and you know exactly what they are but for speed maybe some other uh, Traces might be of interest to see really uh, the variance of the where the values are uh, in between. So that's a good way. And the other thing is that you can see here is this little values. These are the minimum and maximum values. And that's the other thing. There's a mi ma so minimum and maximum. So you can again say per each trace have this one. So of course, if you put it for throttle or brake, there's a 100 and 0 and nothing else in between, but for steering. Uh, for uh, speed, it's also interesting. You can see the dot is here, so that's that's quite interesting for some of the traces to see what's the minimum maximum value. Same with the, of course, with gear. You see, it's a six or or one, so there's not much much change here. And the way uh, this telemetry tool actually works is that you have there's always a blue lap, which is kind of the base basic lap, offline lap. That the lap you've done is the fastest lap. It could be the fastest of your uh, session. It could be a reference lap, so you can always load any any lap you've done with this tool, you can load them as a reference lap. With 2020 and 2019, uh, it also, there's also option to have a ghost lap. So when you're doing live laps uh, and you get the full data from the ghost, then the ghost data will be shown as a, as a blue lap. And then you have the one kind of the hot lap or the lap you are comparing to, and that's the, to be it's a live, da live data if you're driving racing or doing practice whatever on on the simulator but then you can also load lap and then you can have a previous lap so if you are driving uh, during a race and you don't want to look at the trace changing all the time you just want to look at how i was doing on the previous lap compared to the session fastest you could have that one on it so it's quite a uh, kind of nicer way of limiting a little bit how much data you get while driving even though i when i drive i typically have the live database that's the that's the thing I well like in the quality you want to know that are you faster or not at that point do you need to keep pushing or do you need to sort of add a, abort your lap or whatever you you want to do so this is the way and and you can load these laps so there's a the file option you can load a, a, a file as a red lap you can also load the reference lap with the Formula 1 2020 uh, you can also load the opponent lap I was thinking with also ACC you can do load an opponent lap here and that's the way. So I'm actually now gonna uh, load a lap, lap here, so we get the red lap. And now you can see there's some other things going on. I'm just making this a little bit smaller. So uh, now you can see there's the red lap or the hot. Let's call it the hot lap. So we have the hot lap, and there's the different colors for each trace. Because I know that lots of people want to have different colors for their trace, but they, that's the way they've used to do it, things. And you can adjust these colors, the settings and graph colors, and you can adjust uh, the color of each trace to be whatever you you like. They said the setting, base settings I have, this is based on some of the uh, material on the literature that people are using for different graphs. So, so I'm trying, to, I've tried to make them same as as, as a typical user uh, in the racing environment would, would be using. So uh, of course there's an option if you don't really, if you don't like the different colors, you can also have a single color per lap. So then that means that it will be a red lap or blue lap. And that's all the colors you have. Uh, so in this uh, trace, you can see here, is a, you can click here, the mouse around and, and there's a kind of data about that, that lap. On, on the top and on the bottom, you can see a little bit how how things are, how what are the timings and what's going on here. Like you can see, like I'm looking here, it's the car speed, throttle, brake value, gear, and steer. No sector one or sector two times yet. Time difference. Uh, the red lap is a little bit faster, and here you can see I'm going clicking here. So the blue is half a second faster at this point of the lap, and the distance is uh, almost about two kilometers. 
Uh, some of the things on the right hand side you can see you can decide what, like you see the the cursor data is on the top but you can also put at the at the bottom and then there's a on the new version there's auto zoom and that means that if you're clicking with them let's say they're trying to find some interesting spot like this is you can see uh, and one thing you can see here is the vertical lines they are the turn numbers you can adjust that in the settings so there's a uh, vertical lines there's a uh, distance mini sectors or turns I'm not using the turns so it, for each turn there's a one vertical line you can see the numbers at the bottom T1, C, 69. So let's say this is quite interesting. Let's say that with the outer zoom you want to dive in. Let's say here, this is the spot uh, where the blue lap gained one second in the sort of, let's say if you take this spot, it's 1.4 uh, kilometers. This is almost 2.3 kilometers. So it's uh, 800 meters plus and minus where the uh, blue lap gained one second over the, uh, the red lap. So what we can do is that we can put the cur cursor here and then we click the mouse secondary secondary mouse button and we'll zoom in into this graph and now you can really dive into the details look at the all the traces what's going on there you can add at other at the uh, g forces and look at how they are uh, uh, how they are changing while you drive on that area and there's lots of things you can do do with this this thing one thing is, uh, if you don't have super power, or if, let's say on the other side, if you have an old laptop which doesn't have too much power, you can adjust the details of the crafts and uh, that saves some CPU, some performance, some uh, memory of, of your system if you are running low, low on those. But you can just adjust, see what are the best values for you. Uh, I typically have it on the on the highest, but it depends a little bit on the what, what are your needs. And then there's actually a reset. So, you, so with this one, you can always zoom in with the mouse. Mouse, you can zoom in and 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 the, that way you can sort of uh, control the map, what's going on on there. And then the, if you need to go back, you can always reset the zoom. So let's say that you are diving do, too deep and then you don't know how to get out. You can always reset the zoom. Uh, one thing uh, on, the, on the side actually, there's all the different traces, so you can see there's quite a lot of things. If you're looking into setups, there's uh, uh, suspension positions and uh, brake temperatures and wheel speeds and uh, the different forces and the ERS uh, information. But with all these graphs, you can always decide which graphs to show. This is the first uh, checkbox is to make it graph visible or not. Then the second slider, or the first slider is the uh, position of the graph, so you can move the graphs around. And then it's the height of the graph, how high is the graph, and then there's the minimum and maximum, and also the uh, scale on the right hand side. And then here on the minimap, when you're driving a uh, race, uh, then you will have all the cars uh, visible here as well. And in the Formula 1 2020 and all the Formula 1 games, you will see also see the uh, uh, tire compound color in, in, in the dot. But this is the sort of basic introduction on, on what to do with the telemetry tool. Uh, there's lots of things and you're going to start diving in and like zooming in and trying to understand how your driving affects the timing and everything. But this is the basic introduction. I've shown that to you. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.